Well, the trip provided a number of benefits. The reason why we went was really threefold. The first was to help uh, promote Maryland for foreign direct investment. The second was to help our exporters enter into new markets. And the third was really to just market and brand the state as a place that's serious about, uh, about foreign trade. So I'm happy to say that we accomplished about $85 million worth of signed deals. So the favorite site was the Great Wall. I mean, it's absolutely amazing because it's a project that took generations to build. And the fact is that even today, it's a majestic site. And that commitment, not just across one emperor, because, but across, frankly, a member, number of emperors over a number of hundreds of years uh, is absolutely uh, a, a truly uh, jaw-dropping sight. I did like the Korean barbecue quite a bit. Uh, that was excellent. Sliced meats, and uh, they have literally a plate that they bring out uh, of this, this meat that's been sliced up for you. Uh, you put it on hot charcoal. And the thing is, this isn't like an electric grill. This is things of charcoal that are on fire. And um, our grill was actually a little bit cold, and so you had folks over the governor's shoulder bring these hot charcoal things. I thought we were going to have a, an accident here. Or, <laughs> I had no idea what kind of liability insurance they had, but I got to tell you, that is great. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's funny because when you get to Vietnam, one of the things that you notice is just a number of motorbikes in the streets. And they were, it was almost like a school of fish, frankly. And someone said there's an art to crossing the street in Vietnam because uh, there's always these motorbikes that are kind of riding on the street. And so what you do is you just step into the middle of traffic and they will avoid you like a school of fish.